Hi, um, in this video I'll be talking about syntax in um, VBA. This is uh, one of the uh, videos that I'll be posting on Blackboard. Hopefully that is not too long. Okay, so in VBA um, we have two options, either to introduce the variable or not to introduce the variables. The one that I'm showing you now is the code that actually requires the user to introduce the code and the command for that is option explicit. These are these are keywords in VBA that has to be written verbatim. Um, so option explicit goes on the top of this code and says that you have to introduce the variable. Every variable that you use you have to introduce the type. Type means um, variable can hold integer numbers, can hold real numbers, can hold a string, can hold Boolean variables like true or false variables, and so forth. So in this short code, uh, we, we want to write uh, an algorithm that actually gets two number from the spreadsheet and calculus the average. So as I go over the code, I'll try to explain the syntax. The first thing that uh, we do after we uh, explicitly say option explicit at the top is we have to start the code by sub and a name. So this name is completely optional. It can be anything that you want. And then after that, you have to open close parenthesis like this. So sub at the beginning of the code and then end sub at the end. So every sub has an end sub at the end and that means everything included in this sub uh, will be executed as you run the code. In VBA every command goes in one line so you cannot have two commands uh, or three commands in one line. Every command has to be on a separate line and you may ask what is the command? Command is everything uh, that can be executed mathematically like every uh, every assignment, every equality, every uh, addition, every subtraction. So these could be uh, operations, mathematical operations that have to be a separate line in VBA. So we're going to learn how to actually continue a line uh, of more than one commands later on. But so far, uh, you can think of every line as one command for machine. Okay. After the sub, we have to introduce the variables. The keywords are dim, as, and then the variable type. If I want these variables to be uh, double, then I would say dim, and then the variables I want separated by comma, and then as double. If I want them to be integer, then I would say dim, and then the variable I want as integer. Like, like I can say dim something as integer. Okay, and as soon as I type integer, you see uh, the, there's a window actually uh, shows up. And uh, the possible words that you can put in will be shown here. So like if I type as and then space, then you see a bunch of, you know, bunch of commands here. These are like all VBA commands. And if you go through it, integer is one of them. Let's see, integer, uh, you go up. There you go. So we're going to click on that. You can double click on that or you can type. It doesn't matter. Uh, both work. All right. So let's say I want to calculate the average of two numbers. That means I need three variables. One for the first number, the second variable for the second number, and then the third, which is the average uh, variable. So that's why I have three variables here. And these are like names separated by comma. All right. Now I have to get input and then assign those inputs to my numbers. The, in, the first, so the, the, uh, there are a lot of input commands in VBA. The simplest is cells. So this is a command in VBA and every cells uh, links to an address in a spreadsheet. So cells should be followed up by two numbers. The first is the row and the second was the column index of the spreadsheet that you want to read the number from. In this case, when I say cells to one, that means in cell to one of my spreadsheet, there should be a number and that number will be assigned to variable A. 
next is cells and then parentheses three one exactly like matrix is you're you're calling a matrix called cells and this cells is nothing but the spreadsheet that you have and then cells three one means uh read the cell content in row three column one and then assign it to b variable and if you go back here cell two one so row two column one is the first number cell three column one is the second number if i put like zero here then then here after i run the code my a is going to be four and my b is going to be zero all right syntax is variable equals some command and here is the this is input command which means it takes something from input from spreadsheet um, all right so so far we learned two things one is to introduce the variables with them as integer or, or double or variable type the second is assignment so you assign a variable you assign a value to a variable and the value comes on the right side the variable goes on the left side so the whatever it's on the right side goes and will be assigned to the variable on the left all right so we get a and b from the spreadsheet the next line that the machine executes is the average so we have to calculate the average so whatever you calculate on the right will be assigned to the left variable this is just a simple average of two numbers and then the result goes to average variable so so far i think there is nothing new now we get to out so after we calculate the average we need to output the variable so the syntax is again you assign something to a spreadsheet cell this is the cell of a spreadsheet column two row five and you want to assign the average value to that cell so what you write is you say cells command that's exactly the command had we had before but now we uh, we reference to a different cell cell row five column two and then we assign we assign the value of the average we just calculated to that cell so value on the light right assignment is this equality and then the spreadsheet address is going to be on the left so whatever you have on the right goes to the left in the spreadsheet all right so that is it so this this program calculates the average of two numbers uh, again to recap uh, there are keywords that has to be written exactly in VBA every code that you write has to start with a sub and end sub the sub name is up to you and then the sub name uh, is followed up by the parentheses so within the parentheses we can put argument but for this code we don't have an argument so let's not talk about it now we just leave it as is and then after that immediately you have you have to introduce every variable you cannot skip any variable if you can skip a variable that you do not introduce here but then use it here you get an error so make sure that you introduce every variable here and the commands are dm variable names so, uh, separated by command by comma and then as the the variable type could be double or integer or something else another thing we learn is the cells so cells is to read and write if cells shows up on the right side of the equal sign that's a reading command it reads the number from this cell assign it to the variable on the left and if the cells shows up on the left side of equal sign that means it's an output it's a it's a writing command so it writes whatever it's on the right on the spreadsheet located at this row and that column so hope uh, this shows you a little bit of uh, syntax in VBA I'll be posting more videos, uh, be more complicated codes as we go along. All right, so enjoy watching.